Hello everyone, I thought I'd introduce you to another watch. This is a Timex electronic watch, looks like a frying pan. Um, it's actually transistorized. Yeah, that's right everyone, sisters in a trance. Trance sister. This one came from France. It's like new. It had the original strap on it, but it had gone quite hard. And there's virtually another mark on it, apart from one or two small web marks on the case. Uh, I'm going to turn it over just to show you what I mean. That's the back. And as you can see, there's no plate wear on the back at all. Hardly any scratches. Uh, this one's got two transistors in it, electromagnetic balance wheel. And it's got the last movement made in the Laco factory. Don't ask me what the model number is in the movement, I can't remember. That's the battery hatch, that's the back crown that you pull out to set the time. It's also got a date, or as I call it, a DATI. Uh, I hate it because you've got to spin that back winder around twice for every day. But there you are, and I'm going to turn it up so you can see the sort of profile of it. Um, UFO comes sort of frying pan, I would call that. And I'm trying to sort of turn it round so you can see. And as you can see, it's got quite a lot of interesting... It's got a sort of chocolate red brown dial. Sorry about the little shadow. I can't seem to get rid of it. I believe it's caused by the lights here. And I've tried my best to deal with it and by using another light, but I seem to have this other problem. As you can see, the second hand goes once a second. So you think it's a quartz, just like the other one. It is not. You sort of get lots of ticks and then you get one big one. And it says that it um, counts off every second. The accuracy of these wasn't the same as a quartz. Don't expect that. This one's about 15 seconds a day, which is what I've got my other one time to. So that's about a minute every four days, two minutes a week, which is about what was expected. Now I'm just going to push the camera in closer. So you can actually see that dial. As you can see, the condition of this is mint. And I paid about 40 quid for this from France. Now, some people are all wanting 200 pound or more for one of these. And uh, there's one guy in Italy that's got one with a blue dial. He's referring to it as a blue nebula. And he wants 295 pound for it. So I think at £45, I think I paid £45 for this. I think I've done absolutely swimming there. And I'm trying to get it closer so you can see it. Excuse the shaking. Sorry about the reflection. But you can see the beautiful condition of this. This takes an SR44 or an LR44 battery and I know it's a bit annoying to have that little reflection in there and I'm just doing that so you can see the Timex applied numbers were buttons orange and it says West Germany on the dial and it's a beautiful watch. It's probably about my best electric watch now. Um, I'm just waiting now for a Timex Q to come. I've ordered one. I've also bid on another one. And that's an early one, the first Q they bought out. So goodbye everyone. I hope you enjoy the Timex Electric. Um, or it's called an electronic. It's actually two transistors. 
or as I call them, sisters in a trance, because the sisters are always in a trance.